I don't think I'm going to be doing too many errands. However, I do have to go and inquire about a storage unit because, all right, over the time your girl has accumulated so much stuff that it's ridiculous. Um, I have no place to put anything. We're literally walking, knocking stuff over and bumping into everything. It's kind of crazy. So there's uh, this new storage facility that opened up in my neighborhood, which is a good thing. And I need to inquire whether or not if they could help me stow away some of this junk. Hopefully it's not <laughs> junk. Yes, that's just what it is. Now, nah, let me stop. It's not junk. Obviously, if it was junk, I would have thrown it in the garbage. But that's what it's like. Sometimes when you have too much stuff, that's what it feels like. Like you accumulated so much stuff over the time. It's like, yo, I don't even know how to refer to this stuff anymore. But um, nevertheless, I'm going to go see. Hopefully those rates are good. Because, you know, sometimes with storage facilities, it could be bonkers. The prices could be ridiculous. But hopefully the prices are reasonable. And um, hopefully we wouldn't have to stow it away for too long. You know what I'm saying? Just enough time for us to get situated and do certain things. But yeah, so like I said, we're going to head on over to the storage facility, see what they say. Hopefully they have some good rates and prices. And once I'm done with that, I got some packages. Yes, I do. From so many different companies. I mean, it's been a lot going on. But later, I would definitely sit down and explain to you what's been going on, why I've been missing in action, so on and so forth. But for right now, let me show you the fit that I'm wearing today, which is just something basic. Still cute, but basic. It's my suit that I got from Walmart literally like five years ago. It's just, just a basic active wear suit. Cute matching top and bottom. And I decided to pair my grand white Jordans with it, which is cute, really cute, right? Nice and comfy. And I've been working out, so yeah, your girl has lost some weight. Did I tell you that I had this suit for like five years? <laughs> I sure did. Pulled it out the drawer, like what? Let me just put this on, see what's you know, see what see what it gives. And yeah, I gotta be honest, with all the working out that I've been working out, I've been like literally just losing a lot of weight, especially around this area, which is a great thing. So I would honestly say, let me see, I could literally about, a, I would say like one to two sizes smaller and it will still fit. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing better than being able to hit your target goal. It's nothing better than that. So right now we're about to head out. for yourself we just left the storage unit and to me the price point is not that bad it's a it's gonna be like a 10 by 15 i think she said 10 by 15 yeah. right or uh, 15 by 10 something like that five by 10 oh five by 10 so i'm way off but um initially she showed us a bigger box but i realized that that's too big we definitely don't need that much space we just need to um we need a small space basically to downsize like i right. said earlier on some of the stuff that we have so the 15 by 10 5 by 10 i don't know what it is with me and this 15 but anyway the 5 by 10 to me will be perfect um because we're doing we're just doing a yeah. slight declutter exactly nothing too drastic five or by, whatever. 5 by 10 and that's it and she said it was going to be like 208 which is not bad, right? But hubby on the other hand, he's like, that's kind of pricey. Yeah. And I'm like... I'm old school with it because simply, I remember when these units, these box, these storage things used to cost like $60 a month or whatever the case might be. Uh, yeah, but I was like, I was trying to tell him that is like, it's not... Times have definitely changed. It, yeah, that's... We're not back in the days. And I mean, like I said, 208 is pretty decent. The initial um first month or whatever it's gonna be like 258 i think 250 something and after that it's only gonna be like 208 bucks so i'm not even complaining about that to be honest to me i mean you feel some type of way because you're paying to stow away stuff that's probably depreciated anyway but nevertheless i thought they was gonna hit us with the three or four hundred dollars per month yeah they tried to but um yeah for the bigger unit yeah, but i mean listen i'm not gonna complain this to something we good i mean when we go out to eat we paid two something way more than that. oh way more than that to be yeah. honest 
right? So I can be cheap when something. I'm ready. It's not even about so, that. It's just what's right is right, what's yeah. wrong is wrong. So anyway. So we're about to check out a second storage unit, but I don't think Hubby realizes that is the same company. It is. That's the same company. So it's probably gonna be the same standard rate that oh, no. they have going right. on. I didn't I didn't uh -huh. notice that. I thought it was two different companies. He just figured, listen, I'm not happy with the 208. I'm gonna drive around to the other location, a different location, or should I say he thought it was gonna be a different company. But now that we're here, it's the same company, same colors. Call it being naive, I guess. <laughs> Like here, the 5x10 is uh, 164, second month free, cost 169. So that's its basically and with taxes, the same price. It would be... Plus tax, plus insurance. Okay, so maybe like two something? Um, yeah, what's it called in that area? 200. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Have a You're wonderful welcome. weekend. Thank, Thank you. Have Thank a great you. day, guys. You too, right. thanks. So you heard for yourself. Woo! <laughs> what is going to be? I guess we got to stick to the one with the elevator. Well, you want to try the other one? And, uh... that, are they open? Is the question. Oh, I had to look. We could. You know what? It's not a rush. We could honestly go out there on Tuesday when we end up at Starbucks. Yeah. And inquire, to be honest. That's if we remember. <laughs> we're going to remember because we're going to drive right past it anyway. But you heard for yourself. And um, yeah. But if anything, we're probably just going to stop off at Starbucks so I can get, you know, get my little fix. <laughs> get my little vanilla chai since it's in the area. And then probably like literally just go back home because... I got a lot of stuff to do in the house today. She like got she gotta get her fix, yeah. <laughs> what you trying to say? What you trying to say? It's not what I try, it's what trying you said. It's, it's, it's what you said. You're trying to call me a crackhead, boy. <laughs> 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 what you got on my drink? What you got on my Starbucks? Yeah, looking big on me. Yeah, boy. Shit. <laughs> anyway, it's hot as hell. It's, it's about, real it's about hot. 80 degrees. And it's crazy because when we was in the house, the air was coming through that breeze. It felt so good. So hubby was like, "Yeah, I'm overdressed." Look at he's me. like, "Oh, got it gotta be so chilly outside." And I'm like, "Nah, chilly. That probably was earlier this morning. This is it's damn near summertime, all right? It's springtime, wrapping up towards the end. So it's gonna be not for nothing. It's gonna be hot." And I guess he was like, "Nah, I'm just gonna come out here with my t-shirt and my extra shirt." <laughs> and Come out here and look hot and be hot. <laughs> I said, boy, you better it's recognize crazy. the sun's out and for real. time for the guns to go out. I just got this on, no t-shirt, nothing. I lost the t-shirt once I went in the house earlier. I was like, I'm not doing an extra t-shirt. That's crazy. But um, nevertheless, we made a reservation for this coming Saturday <clears throat> for the initial storage unit that we saw, the first one. Um, and that's about it. I mean, throughout the week, we're probably just going to like search other storage units in the area and see what we come up with and just basically, um, price just to see who's price reason reasonable, so to speak. And I, if, I would, if it's not price reasonable or if the prices is around the same price point, then for convenience, we're just going to go with the first one. Yeah. Cause like I said, I mean, it doesn't hurt to save extra money. But it's not that bad in pricing. Right. This is 2023. 208 dollars a month for storage is not too bad. All right, guys. Not too bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So oh could have been more. A grande vanilla chai okay, latte. Okay. Hey, let me. Can I get the grande vanilla chai latte with the oat milk? Uh, no water. Gotcha. And. Can we get open you today? Uh, I'm gonna do. Oh my god! I've been doing the tomato and mozzarella on focaccia, but I'm wondering if I want to do the turkey provolone pesto and ciabatta. I do the um tomato and mozzarella on focaccia. Okay, can I have Play the tomato right, guys, mozzarella on focaccia? Focaccia. Mm -hmm. That's 
The tomato okay. and mozzarella and focaccia is only 300 and I think it's 60 calories. I'm trying to see in the distance. I think. So right now, it's... the only shipments I got is the grilled cheese. Oh, the grilled cheese. So we ain't gonna no, do no sandwiches. Because all he got is the grilled cheese and the turkey. So and... this is chai tea? Yeah. Yes. Thank you. All right, I got you. The turkey right, no provolone problem. and pesto. On... The turkey provolone and pesto on ciabatta is 520 calories. So yeah, it was 360 for the tomato, mozzarella, and pesto. Let me. So let I me, figure I do the one with the less calories. <laughs> let me intervene for a second. I give y'all a joke. When it comes to me transferring, when whenever you know my wife is saying you know order order whatever. Oh my god. I messed that up in a heartbeat. Woo! Like. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. I don't know what it is with Starbucks. <laughs> Starbucks have all these fancy names. And I'm like, yo, listen, come but on. But you man, know just... what? You wouldn't be the only person that says that and has that problem. First of all, take note, guys. And I know most of us, we already thought this out. The tall, okay, put it this way the sizes are tall, grande, grande venti. venti and Trenta. Trenta. Not too many people do a Trenta and they only do Trentas when it comes to like the ice cold drinks, right? Like the refreshers. So let's just say the tall. Why is it called a tall, but it's a small? It's a small. That's an oxymoron, right? <laughs> so he gets here and it's like, all right, let's say if I want to do a large, he would tell the, um, the barista that his wife wants a tall, thinking that it's going to be tall. A bigger cut. <laughs> Tell me why it's the other like, day he gave me that. I'm like, yo, what the hell is this little shit? <laughs> <laughs> it's like because you ordered a tall. It slipped. <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness. You got to get it together. The tall is small. The grande is medium. And the venti is large. Then the other the other thing is, he knows what I'm going to say. That's why he's smiling. Whenever hubby goes out to fast food restaurants, let's say... Burger King. I have zero patience. Mickey D's. That's what it is, bro. Like, Wendy's. It's <laughs> always something with that. Popeyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. And the list goes on and on and on. He acts as if it's the first time that he landed on Earth. <laughs> on Plymouth Rock. He doesn't know what nobody have. Like, um, for instance, they would say something like, "Do you want the combo?" He would say something along the lines like. What does a combo include? What the hell you mean with the combo include, yeah. boy? You know then, the combo includes a soda and look, fries. The, word, like it doesn't the <laughs> weirdest thing is, I freak. We both frequent these places on a daily basis. On a daily so basis. It's like, come on, bro. That's why, like, why you acting like you new to this? It's so right, hilarious. That is what it is. The 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 kicker. You might as well tell him the Popeyes. The kicker. That's all good. You might as well just, say, might just get that out the way. That, that, to me, after I thought about it, I was like, yeah, bro, that shit was kind of dumb. <laughs> 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 three days ago you see i'm keeping count right three days three days three days ago it was raining and uh, hailing out here really bad yeah wasn't that weird though really really bad don't try to divert the conversation <laughs> so we pull up to the drive-thru of popeyes the mic is a little bit on the, the i wouldn't say the mic was too bad it was, she couldn't all right. hear me i couldn't but hear her it was thing, terrible but the thing about it was because that heavy rain and the hail and the hail was popping against the window and it was just making a lot of noise, a lot of noise distortion. So the lady was like, how many pieces of chicken do you want? What kind of, um, you know how they have like the family deal and all this other stuff. So we finally got past that part. He told them, okay, I want the, um, the family feast or whatever. Great. What are your sides, sir? Huh? I can't so hear you. Pause right there. What are I, you thought, I thought she's asking me what is my size. S I Z E as in Why was she asking? But it still it still didn't make no relevance to what. Why what, was you know, she, she asked what size? Size of what? Like we didn't order drinks, so what? The whole size part wasn't making no sense, right? But so I'm sitting in the passenger seat, but yet I understood what she was saying. So I'm like, babe, she's asking you what's your size. He's like, oh, my sides. Tell me why this man says sauerkraut. <laughs> Look, don't ever put me on spot and ask me to say something randomly. Since when do that. does Popeye sell sauerkraut? First of all, what the hell are we going to put sauerkraut on the chicken? <laughs> I don't know. I 
thought about it. I, I yeah. just said if it was like a hot dog joint or something, a hot dog place. And, you know, benefit, benefit of, you know. That was one of them dumbass answers. You look at them and say, <laughs> huh? Family Feud. You look, type you look at the person and say, huh? Where like the lady from? on Family Feud. Right. Family Feud. Mommy. Uh, another word to say, mom or mommy or whatever. And she says, mommy in like six different <laughs> ways. Like, like girl, what's, what's good? <laughs> so it was like, dang, babe. I was like, what the hell? What? Sauerkraut. But I was too busy <laughs> laughing. And I'm like, dude, she asked you, what's your size? Just say mac and cheese and fries and let's get out of here. And that's what he ended up saying. And I was like, yo, I can't believe you just look, said that. man, plus I was getting wet with that cold ass rain. Sticking your head out the window trying to I get the to come. I got hair popping me on the side of my face and my arms. Look, come on, man. It was just too much. There I, was I, a lot I was, going on. I couldn't do it. He freaked out and yelled sauerkraut. <laughs> oh, my God. Not but, even coleslaw, but sauerkraut. That was just one of my dumbest moments sauerkraut ever. Sauerkraut and chicken. Yeah. And biscuits. <laughs> and mac and cheese. Yeah, rice and beans and fries. <laughs> Sauerkraut. <laughs> anyway. But that day we ended up getting coleslaw. Right? Coleslaw and mac and cheese. Yeah, it was coleslaw yeah, mac yeah, and cheese. Yeah. But we was, you know, we just look at it and we just laugh. Alright, y'all can stop laughing at me. We now. just laugh. So now we at Starbucks. Lord, babe, what you want? Let me get the tomato and basil. Let me get the tomato and mozzarella and focaccia. Or no, it's yeah, tomato mozzarella. Tomato mozzarella. Look, I'm pesto, not the see, I'm not the only one, right? On, Messing up on the little... it tongue tied. Tomato mozzarella pesto. Pe what the fuck am I trying to say? I had the to guy on the microphone he laughing at me. He off on me. He so, laughing at me on the microphone like, bro, I know what you're talking about. It's all good. I got he you. He ought, because we recognize the voice and he recognizes our voice. So he just be knowing who it is. Trust me, that's placing the order. So he always try to help him out. They um, should have like a bloopers. Right, right. A Starbucks a bloopers. bloopers. How many people mess the names Trust up Trust me, the order. It'll, it would definitely be like a mm. hundred an hour probably. Cause yeah. everybody come through here tongue tied on some, on as some dumbfounded heck. shit. Just not like, to mention when it comes to ordering, you probably end up ordering the wrong size. That yeah, alone. You your points oh all. yeah, let me get my little points and stuff. I'll be right back. As in the name and the words I, of Rochelle. Wait, wait, I say we'll call, we'll you, call back. you back. <laughs> <laughs> I think when Rochelle says that, I call y'all back. I think that is so funny, funny so hilarious, yeah. so hilarious. That became her signature. Hey, um, girl. Every time you somebody see her. Right, right, right. She is a trip but um <coughs> yeah. that's just what it is hilarious so i'm gonna pick up my starbucks and i'm gonna head back to all right the thank house. you so much you too man thank you i why was i sitting here thinking i'm getting my tomato and mozzarella on focaccia why well, i forgot all yeah. they have is um grilled, grilled cheese. cheese i'm sitting here waiting literally oh my goodness yeah. how embarrassing like herbal more cheese please mm -hmm. This is good. Uh, excuse me. I don't think it could be hot enough outside for me to stop drinking my vanilla chai. Hot, of course. Latte. This thing be busting. Seriously. Yeah, it's busting. It's so be busting good. hot. For real. I don't know how you do it. Man, it's hot out here supposedly, but. I don't feel hot. This is like pretty aerated. I feel so cool. Just I feel relaxed. But um, I yeah. Can't wait to take this shit on back. a on a hot day, most people they will order a refresher. But I'm gonna stick to my little vanilla chai situation. Are you sure you don't want to go hit the other spot, or you just want to head back? No, I'm good, babe. Yesterday we went to Walmart and we did like a little little shopping, you know, whatever. And we ended up getting a pork shoulder because I love a Mississippi pot roast, but I love a Mississippi pork shoulder as well. And I figure, I, you know, I like to dabble with different foods and stuff. So I was like, you know what, if it's so good when it comes down to the beef, it's going to taste good when it comes down to the pork as well. So I figured I made it before I make it again. I ended up buying the biggest pork shoulder I could possibly find at Walmart. It came out to be like close to $27, right? It was 26 and change. When I tell you, Hubby cleaned the meat last night before I cooked it. He was like, and when I, let me start over. Hubby cleaned the meat last night, right? Cause I was working on editing the video. So I figured, let me, um, yeah, I figured 
after he was done, let me get out there and prep the meat and everything. And I was like, I'm telling him news. Like, he's like, I trimmed a lot of fat too. So I'm like, yo, I just trimmed off a good piece of fat. And he's like, I just did the same thing. Anyway, nevertheless, we cook it on down and stuff, seared it on up. During the final process of the cooking, I was like, all right, let me go in there and break the meat up and shred it and stuff and everything. Oh my goodness. That was the fattiest pork shoulder that I have ever purchased in my life. I know pork is fatty, but that was in excess. That was so excessive, so ridiculous. Literally every time I was like shredding the meat portion of it, right under another layer would be fat. And I'm like, dang, this is crazy. Like I'm getting more fat here than meat. You know, and I just feel like, I just feel like it was definitely a waste of money. So I'm going to honestly toss it. I'm not going to um, hold on to it. We Probably finished it. cooking it like literally one o'clock this morning. And um, I don't know. It was cooked to perfection. I tasted it. It was really good. Whatever little meat piece that I could get my hands on minus the fatty parts, right? But I'm just gonna toss it. It is what it is. Next time around, I'll probably just pick up a smaller pork, picnic pork shoulder. Cause I realized when I pick up the small to medium pork shoulders, it works out better. Maybe next time I'll just pick up two medium sized pork shoulders and call it a day. Cause as you can, you know, like, as you can see, I picked up the large one and it didn't work out. It did not work out. So ain't catching me twice. Like I said, today for us, I hear thunder. It was a 30% chance that it was supposed to rain today. And yes, that's thunder. It's not fire. Is it really? Yes, it is. The sky is clear. Mm -hmm. it, it's clear, but it like it's about to get a little cloudy. Oh, some Florida shit, right? Mm-hmm. Sheesh. You can't tell me that's not crazy how it rains in just one spot, one, spot? one particular spot in Florida. Like, you be standing a couple centimeters away, you be dry. And then like right in front of you is raining cats and dogs. And you're like, what is going on? It's the craziest thing ever. Even it got dark. <laughs> there right, we go. Sure. Yep. It went from like literally sunny to cloudy. And instantaneously, we was just talking. Literally. And you just said it was sunny. So, I'm going to get back in that house. And I say we gonna call y'all back again. What are we gonna cook? Oh, that's another thing. Mm -hmm. I was on my little cooking binge and stuff, cooking every day. I've been feeling good, and um, I mean, how many recipes did we complete this week alone? Like About literally, four. I made like three dishes in one day. The other, literally, the other day. So. I got videos that stacked up. You know what I'm saying? I just have to like literally break them down, edit it, and that's about it. So I really don't have to cook today for video purposes if I don't want to. Yeah, Wait, get a your car. Ass back. It's like right there. Okay. Because he's blocking. I don't know why he came out so far. But anyway. Yeah, um, it's coming. You saw girl, it, it is dark out here. Mm. What is going on? Oh my goodness. That was quick talk about no warning and it was only a 30 percent chance that's the funny part it's like we drove right in don't you wish sometime the rain come down like in florida in just one spot and wash some of your neighbors out the way like some neighbors they nosy and they aggravating as shit yeah, so you be hoping that the rain just come down and wash their ass away <laughs> or better yet, just come down so therefore once they ass start to get wet, they ain't got no choice but to go, go in the, the house. house. They ain't got yeah. no choice but to go in the house. No, ass, no. That was funny. <laughs> Mother chocolate. How does it say just rain in one spot? Just like in Florida, just in their spot. <laughs> just in their spot. Take your ass inside. So I'm not mm -mm. sure, because like I said, when the weather's like this, sometimes. So you really I'm gonna don't dig in a deep freezer. Yeah. And I know we have beef patties um that we bought from costco's the jamaican beef patties we also have um fish fish steaks no, you didn't want to do the other spot right fish filet what else i know we got 
I think we got raw food as well. We yeah. have sausages. We got stuff that we could. Have. Oh, plus we bought the um, pan pizza yesterday from DiGiorno. I forgot about that. Yeah. yeah. The kids are good. Trust me. We're good. Oh. I'm on my little try not to eat too much weight loss regimen. <laughs> so far, it's been working really good. I've just been hitting it really hard in the gym and everything's been going up, you know, working good. But yeah, we're good. Make some of the Yeah, you're looking like a snack. That's right. Like That's right. <laughs> Anyway, guys, we're about to um, turn the camera back on once we get in the house. Call y'all back. Yeah, we're about to call you back. Mm, it's getting hot in here. <laughs> it sure is. Yeah. All right, we made it back to the house, and the rain is coming down. Yes, it is. And guess what? It washed those neighbors away, just like I said. Yay! <laughs> anyway, let me stop being crazy. Um... Let's see what we have in this deep freezer. All right, so. I did, I told him. I told him about what just happened as far as the rain coming down right away. No, I'm talking about as far as I remember what you said. And it washed them neighbors. I told him, I told him. Yep, we got DiGiorno, just like I said. And we got our, let's see, beef patties. We got some frozen chicken thighs. We got fish sticks. And we have some everything seasoned bread and <laughs> everything seasoning breaded cod, which I can't eat because I can't eat sesame seeds and it looks so delicious. So that's why I picked up this because your girl can't eat this. But anyway. And we got some vegan stuff. Uh, vegan sausages, vegan burgers. Yeah. Sausages, and we also got some waffles and what else? What else? Checkers fries, and we got some other stuff down up in here. And we got frozen uh, snapper, frozen watermelon in case we want to make some watermelon margaritas. And yeah, so we good. I think I'm gonna pop a uh, beef patty in the in the refrigerator from myself, right, bro? What the hell? <laughs> in the oven. Um, cause usually once you pop it in the oven, it takes about an hour to cook on up and I probably heat this up for the kids or they probably have pizza and beef patty, whatever they prefer. And that's about it. So yeah, the, um, had a long day, just tired. Right? A little finger food. I guess, I guess. I don't feel tired though. I really don't. Yeah, I'm not tired. Which is a great thing. It's just for me more so um, timing. Timing. I got to get those videos out. Right. And the sun came back out. I guess we're in Florida after all. No, <laughs> the sun is trying to come back out, but I wouldn't happened, trust that. that it may rain just, again later. That happens just to grant your request. <laughs> yes. Washing it's those people away. The <laughs> you think the universe ain't listening? The universe listens. That's a perfect example right there. <laughs> All right, we got our gamers still gaming. Oh, goody. That's goody. <laughs> you good? You hungry? Yeah. A little? All right, you could, um, I, I'm going to pop the pizza in the oven. And if you want beef patties with that, you could have that as well. Baby girl, she is knocked out. I see her feet moving. Hey, baby. You good? You took a good nap? All right. All right, so I'm back in the room. And... Let me show you what I got. Yeah, that's what we going to do. I'm going to show you everything that I got uh, from, it's, just call it a collective haul, all right? I got stuff from Skims. I got stuff from Amazon. I got stuff from Costco's. I got stuff from everybody, all right? So anyway, let me put you on the tripod so I can show you exactly what your girl got. Finally, I'm sitting down and I'm feeling kind of good to be sitting down. You hear me? <laughs> let me show you what I got. Um, it's so much stuff. I don't even know where to start because last time that I've been on camera was, I think, maybe since March. So, yeah. All right. Anyway, I'll probably make a separate video in regards to the time lapse between March leading up until June as far as what's been going on with your girl. Anyway, I'm going to start off with Amazon. I ordered this so long ago, guys. I forgot what's in here. 
I think it's dated back to April 11th. So I could understand why I would forget what's in here. All right. Yeah, that's what it says. April 11th. All right, let's just open it. See what's good. I don't know why I always do that. When I get my nails done, I get like literally rhinestones on every single nail right it's so pretty i don't know if you can see it but anyway once they start to get kind of old and i need a filling i always use them as like a opener to open the box because the rhinestones are kind of sharp and i don't know why i always do that it's just a, it's just such a bad habit like girl get yourself something to cut the box open but instead i just rather use the rhinestones on my nail design to open the box and that's so crazy what it was okay 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 i totally forgot what it was <laughs> oh, it was actually the selfie one light and i got two actually i got four all right um crazy story but anyway i got four of them i kind of like ordered it twice <laughs> annoying to myself and when it showed up i'm like oh my goodness Girl, what were you thinking? But I didn't send it back. I ended up keeping it anyway because it's something that I'm going to need. Trust me, just in case one go bad, one gets lost or whatever. Or I could even like give it to my kids if they want to vlog or whatever. If they want to do, um, you know, like I said, vlogging, this would be perfect for them anyway. This is it right here. It comes with like three switches. This is the on button. And you just basically squeeze it right here and attach it to your phone. And if you're using like the front uh, facing camera, of course, you're going to attach it to the phone. So the light is facing you basically and vice versa. And this is what it is. I think it's so cool, cute and sleek, easy, easy clip on. Just pull it off once you're done. And yeah, I forgot how much I paid for it, but it was no more than um, it could be no more than maybe $20 give or take but anyway I, i'm definitely gonna list it in my amazon store so if you want to purchase it you could definitely purchase it but yeah i love this thing as a matter of fact while i was vlogging a minute ago um i was using this little selfie light right here coolest thing ever get my nails done on probably wednesday or thursday and in the meanwhile i'm just gonna rock out with these and i'm not trying to break it yeah, I need a filling, but it's not that serious. It's not that bad. Let me see what this is. This was the ice face roller. Now, here's the thing. This is my second order of this because the first one, I literally dropped it and it broke. This part, of course, you could kind of use it, but I was like, I want the handle. This thing right here, it works so good. It works so good. All right, all you gotta do is place it in your freezer and it gets really, really cold, and you just roll it on your face. If you have puffiness going on, like in your face, your eyes, sometimes, you know, sometimes I hear people say, like, if they drink caffeine or if they eat, like, food with salt or certain things, they tend to get, like, a little puffiness going on in their face. And I find that, um, you know, like I said, it's also soothing. Just put it, pop it in the fridge, roll it on your face, and you're good to go. Um, what else did I get? This right here, I was watching my girl, I Am Shelly, and she was talking about the high frequency facial light therapy wand. And I was like, you know what, let me get it. Let me just try it out. Um, let me see what else, what else did they put on the box? It's pretty much good for like pimples and different things, facials, um, and it's light therapy as well. So I guess like the other, so I guess like the other wands or whatever, they basically um, provide light therapy. You know, sometimes like when you go to the um, spa and you get a facial and they may say like, you may have some bacteria under your skin. We might put on the blue light to kill the bacteria or the red light for whatever, whatever. And yeah, this is basically it, if I'm not mistaken. But I know one of these uh, devices, like if you have an active pimple, like I do right now, it would def definitely, it would you would take one of these and just hold it against the pimple and it would like literally send high frequency to zap that pimple, making the 
process of making a process of elimination much quicker. All right. <laughs> Pimple you out of here type of situation. So I got this from Amazon as well. After she mentioned it, I was like, all right, this sounds pretty good. And I seen her use it. So I'm like, listen, every now and then your girl has active. Well, I've been doing good. Let me stop. Let me just stop. I've been doing so good when it comes to my skin. But um, hmm, hmm. according to my dermatologist, she's like, um, I told you in a previous video what she said. She was like, you have hormonal acne and you're not going to get rid of it until your period decides to leave. At whatever age that is, I'm like, that's kind of crazy. But anyway, um, long story short, I found what I need to work on my skin. And it's a lot of, dermat uh, what is it called again? Dermalogica? Dermalogica items. The Dermalogica products works good. Also, also, I was watching my girl Uni Rose and she mentioned about the Urban Skin um, Facial Wash. I forgot the exact name of it, but let me tell you something. It comes with like two little facial sponges. When I tell you, I think it has sulfur in there or whatever it has. And you just basically damp, uh, all you got to do, and you just basically dampen the sponge, rub it against the uh, soap or whatever they provide for you. And you just basically rub your skin, clean your skin, and it cleans your pores. That's one product that when you're done, your face feels so clean. So clean. I mean, thoroughly inside out. So like I said, I didn't have a reason for my face to be breaking out. I finally found products that works for my skin. But I'm just going to put it out there. I got to make a separate video. But anyway, your girl has been having a little asthma and stuff going on. So they put me back on prednisone. For those of you who know what prednisone is, it's a steroid. And because it, you know, interacts with the hormones and everything, it caused your girl to have like, let me see, one, two, three, four, about four to five pimples going on. Yes. So anyway, yeah, that's just basically it. So like I said, when I heard her, when I heard Shelly mention this right here, I was like, I gotta get it. My girl Uni Rose, she's been making videos forever. And when she said um, she uses the Urban Skin, I'm gonna get it later so I can show you guys product. Let me tell you, that thing right there, life changing. Cleans your skin, it cleans your skin, you hear me? It cleans your skin really, really good. Um, also, I went to get a facial back whenever and i ended up picking up this it's called new face filter let me see new face line smoothing regimen uh you get two months of lift included what i like about this right here yeah your girl's skin is tight it's beautiful yeah yeah whatever but on the same token you know sometimes when you get those facials they introduce new products to you and everything and you gotta sometimes you just gotta invest in your skin and invest in you know your look your appearance and sometimes when they do certain things you have no choice but before you leave that office or that spa to want to purchase what it is that they use my esthetician mary she used this on me she was like tammy your skin is tight but we want to keep the skin even more tighter you feel me we want to keep everything intact so therefore when you do get older you've been taking care of your skin basically so you're not gonna be aging and all that stuff looking crazy so anyway, um, she used it on me and I was like, oh my goodness, my face feels like so firm. So the cool thing about this product is um, you use it like in certain areas, whether it be your under eye bags, your cheeks, whatever, and it tends to tighten up the areas. I'm telling you the influence that the spa has on you when you go to get your facials. Man, listen, you be coming out of there with bags of stuff. You be like, listen, I didn't come for that. I just came for one thing. I just want my massage or my facial and that's it. I'm not trying to leave with nothing extra. But I think it was it was literally one something, if I'm not mistaken. It was one something. Probably like 110 or whatever. But nevertheless, I haven't used it yet because I was saving it to show you guys, you know, pretty much what it is that I got. What your girl got. What else did I get? Dermalogica. Of course, uh, Jasmine at uh, Hannah Spa, she gave me the free sample. It's Balanced Skin Charcoal Products. Basically, it dries out the skin and it takes care of any impurities. All right. 
from Cos no from TJ Maxx TJ Maxx let me tell you I got so much gym attire because like I told you I was on my gym you know workout regimen and everything and I was serious we was literally going to the gym like seven days a week yes we've been pushing both me and hubby seven days a week two times a day on some days that's how serious we were or we drop the kids off to school go to the gym get there like about 9 9 30 and we leave like literally about two o'clock to pick the kids up gymming it out all day basically after we leave the gym we pick them up of course do homework get them something to eat all that cool stuff and we'll come back to the gym or we'll bring them with us because the, all the kids all of us we all have memberships all five of us so you know a lot of times they're after school they be like mom dad i want to go to the gym too so we like yeah come on because y'all coming in kind of kind of husky you feel me <laughs> like your mama so let's go to the gym and let's get it done so yeah so your girl has purchased a lot of stuff i ended up getting this from tj maxx this sports bra right here which is kind of cool almost like a tankini is it or is a tankini part of a bikini but anyway nevertheless you see it for yourself <laughs> <laughs> it's cross back which is perfect right and it hits you kind of low which is also good sometimes you want it up here sometimes you want it down here it all depends but nevertheless i got this for only 14.99 um they also had some sports bras or should i say sports bra sets right and i think this the entire set two piece was like 14.99 as well they also had like the little biker shorts as well two piece set i think probably for 14.99 i don't even think it was 20 dollars. so i got a lot of stuff from tj maxx not to mention walmart of course i got a lot of exercising uh oh uh, god attire from walmart as well let me think who else have, have i been purchasing attire from tj maxx I'm trying to really remember guys tj maxx and is it just walmart probably if i remember i'll tell you guys also i picked this up from costco's you know costco's when you go to costco's they be having like not only food but they also have their little section where they have clothes and stuff which is a good thing and i ended up picking up this little set a little something to lounge around in the house in purple pants or whatever and they also have the long pants, which is kind of cool. So it's basically your choice, your preference. If you want to rock it with the long pants or the short pants, if you want to rock it as a separate, or if you want to mix and match, which is a great thing. And we also got this shirt right here, a little t-shirt from Eddie Bauer. Yeah, that's, by the way, it's Eddie Bauer brand. So you know Eddie Bauer is good, good quality stuff. And yep so like i said you could pair it together or mix and match it and either way it's a cool set so i saw it and i was like you know what i'll pick it up and i pick everything else up right so why not <laughs> and this is the same thing but in a different color it's called the eddie bauer woman sleep set four piece it comes with the tank t-shirt shorts and pants breathable easy care uh material this color is pretty too summery and spring type color these probably were like what maybe 15.99 for the four pack you know costco's once you have that membership nothing is pricey yeah like i said i purchased this so long ago i can't remember the prices of course when i first purchased it all of the prices were locked in i was like because i gotta tell you guys what's what but this time around by the time i got to it listen <laughs> it's been months yep all right we got some scams and it's been that long that i don't know what i ordered you hear me i don't know what i ordered i just know every time my phone went bing skims had a new release a new launch and i looked at it i opened it up and i look at it and it looked good i was like all right it's time for me to get some more skims i have a whole drawer full of skims items this is kind of crazy i need to take it easy all right and let me see all right looking at the invoice oh oh 
oh wow Ooh, okay <laughs> I ended up ordering some of their underwears, but this is kind of big. This is, I usually wear large in underwears, but why is this giving like extra, extra large? What the heck? Like whose coochie is that long? Like, oh Lord. And you know what's the sad part? Do you know what's the sad part? This stuff has been sitting here for months. So I think their policy is what? 30 day policy? Listen, I may just have to put it on and pull it up. Literally. <laughs> this is kind of crazy. This thing is crotching. Are you kidding me right now? What the f oh, oh, Lord. All right. So when it comes to the thongs, even though I wear a large and other brands like Victoria's Secret, I ordered it in a large before and it it wasn't looking like this like was good all right oh, i don't know what to say right now hopefully i got these underwears on sale i don't think i did but um if they all look like that we're in prop we're in, like i'm in trouble all right uh whew. i got there um i can't even think right now like literally i can't believe what i'm looking at what the hell is this thing called because i totally forgot the cotton boxer yeah the boxer i got this in an extra large because um it's more comfortable fitting when it comes to their uh boxers i'm still like trying to get like i'm still trying to figure this out like honestly i am really trying to figure it out and i got the top in a size extra large as well and this is cute love the color it's really summery i can't wait to put it on Wow. All right. Um, I got it in this color as well. And I've been ordering these since forever. So fitting into that is not a problem. I got big legs. Like the bottom part of me is, um, I know on camera you probably can't see it, but the bottom part of me is um, pretty thick. So a lot of times you might look at me for like an extra large, but trust me, the extra large is going to be, it's going to fit real close. This is an extra large as well. Going to be poking out everywhere. Trust me. Um, I'm afraid to open one of these bags and there's another underwear in there. <sighs> same thing. Same thing. Can you take underwear to the tailor? <laughs> I mean, we take everything else to the tailor, right? Can I like literally go in here and say like, ma'am, can you make this less crotchable, please? Because right now this underwear is crotching. And see what she told me. Because like Skims is not cheap. And this is too much. Like what are we trying to accommodate here? Like this is crazy. That's just, just, just too much. Woo. Every time I look at it, it like literally just like, it just makes my heart beat fast. Cause I'm like, what is going on here? This is kind of crazy. And what's even more crazy is I have another one, another one. <laughs> In the words of DJ Khaled, another one. <laughs> and I figured as I laid in bed that morning to order matching underwears to match with the Skims sets. All right why did i do that like for real for real like what was i thinking and this is the tank as well extra large as well and as far as these go this is good Ugh. all right hopefully i didn't make the same mistake with my second skims order i tell you every time that phone being off your girl is ordering something Alrighty, she had another um, launch with this color, and I was like, I have to get this color because um, one day I was looking at looking on her website, and I realized I was like, oh my goodness! By the time I clicked on it, it was sold out, and I was like, I love this color. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Let me see. It's the color is pink. 
but I don't know why I feel like on the website it was something different, but it says pink. Not to mention, I saw my girl Chelsea. Yes, from I Am Chelsea. I watch her all the time, love her videos. Hey, boo. Chelsea was wearing a pink set like this, and after I seen it, I was like, I gotta get it. I gotta get it. <laughs> it just so happened that, um, like I said, when I was looking on the website, it was already sold out in my size. But the great thing about it was, um, the second time around, she restocked it or whatever and i was like i'm getting definitely getting it this time and these are did i order it in a large i sure did maybe they didn't have an extra large so your girl got the large but we gonna make it work we gonna make it happen yes we are because it has like a good stretch to it anyway not to mention the first set of boxers that i used to order from skims used to be a large just to play it safe and the large would fit and everything but I just, you know, I was looking for a little bit more room, a little bit more comfort because I ended up ordering some PJs from Skims before. Like one of the, you know, like her sets that she has, like the brown um, button up. You know, you have the long pants and you have the button up um, pajama set, basically. And a lot of times those run really, really big. And it's like, oh my goodness, come on. So I ended up ordering a large in that set before and it was like so big i mean it was dragging on the floor i was in there like two people could have literally fit in there so i was like all right this is this is kind of crazy this is not cutting it it's kind of crazy so if anything i'm just gonna order smaller sizes when it comes to her items so i ended up ordering you know according to the um you know whatever size chart i used to order large but nevertheless like i said it would fit but it'd be kind of you know like fitted around the legs and stuff so if you kind of bend your leg you kind of feel it cutting into your legs so I was like, all right, if anything, we're just going to scale up and do an extra large. But I guess they didn't have an extra large in the pink. So I was like, I take what I get because I love that color. I'll make it work. Plus, I plan on losing weight anyway. So we're going to figure it out. And I also got it ah, in the long pants as well. I can't wait to put these on. I Let me see. I don't have any long uh, skims lounge uh lounge wear pants like these i don't have any of these all like i have maybe 50 shorts but no long pants and i was like you know what i'm just gonna give it a try i was hoping that it's not too short and i was also hoping that um they run you know they fit the you know the thigh area and everything else these were a large so hopefully you girl could get in there and let's see what else we have. I got another skims package. All right, let's see. That's what it was. Yep, that's what it is. I, let me try this and see what happened. Let me see, let me see. I have, right. Give me a second, because I'm trying to jog my memory. I'm like, wait, I think I know why I ordered this. In another order, I had ordered this right here. And I tried it on, and I showed you guys in another video. That's what it was. But I ordered, like, the long um, shirts, the long sleeve shirts to go with these shorts. And let, not long after, I, I ended up sending all the shirts back. Because I was like, I don't like how it's fitting. It's I understand it's like a boyfriend type of uh, crew neck lounge shirt type of situation. But I just was not feeling the look. I was like, nah, it was too close necked. Like the neck area was like, you know, the crew neck was just, it was just necking too much. It was just too tight around the neck. It didn't give girly, if that makes sense. Sometimes as a girl, you want your clothes. I mean, yeah, you want to enjoy your lounge wear. But sometimes you want it to... Be a little bit fitted to kind of show off a little curve or two you know kind of look sexy around the house so to speak and those shirts were not given so i did have a change of mind and i sent the three long sleeve shirts back so i kept the shorts for each of the colors that i ordered and i was like you know what let me see if they have a tank that's gonna match or like literally close in color and as you can see, it's like, yeah, it's like the perfect match. It is. It's the perfect match. The only difference is by the time I ordered it, I realized that this is ripped and this is more like a smooth cotton texture. But give or take, we're going to make it work. We're going to pair it up together. The main point is it's the same color. The rib is not that deep, so you can't tell that it's ripped from, from a distance. 
and it doesn't really feel ribbed unless you look at it but um yeah i'm just glad that it's the perfect match because either way i couldn't send it back anyway it's been like two three months like who's taking this stuff back but um yeah that's about it um when it comes to like the stuff that i had sitting in the corner everything that i ordered uh yeah if you be chilling with me in my room you know that all of this right here is new i outgrew <laughs> i outgrew all of the boxes um yeah i had no more space for sneakers so i ended up just stacking it on against the ceiling which is kind of crazy right um i'm gonna get some more of these boxes from amazon if i could find the link then i probably link it in my store they keep your sneakers up to par especially when you make that investment you know a lot of these uh designer brand stuff is an investment and for me to just like literally take it off and throw it on the floor and have it um sit there and just gather dust or collect dust would be kind of crazy so i'm like let me just take care of my stuff and i figure i order these i think there were like a set of eight or nine or whatever it is but i had these for some time they're a little bit pricey i think it's more along the line of five boxes five or six boxes for like a hundred dollars or something because they're like sturdy heavy duty um if you're gonna rock out with the uh, just be careful if you do order it like i said if i have the link i'm gonna link it but um i had ordered another set as well for the kids they were a little bit less in price but let me tell you they didn't last no time whatsoever waste the money um sometimes you try to take the cheaper route and it doesn't pay you off so if i had just gotten them these it would have been much better off because i don't see anything happening to these they claim that it's like a lifetime um warranty type situation but yeah your girl did some shopping <laughs> i i really did um am i gonna like literally go through every single pair of shoes i'll probably do another video for that one but um yeah it's a combination of stuff sneakers sandals shoes just a little bit of everything and the great thing about it is it's like not everything is not everything that i wear or buy is going to be high end your girl is going to mix or match i don't care if the sandal costs 20 dollars and it looks nice it could be 10 bucks and it looks nice your girl is going to wear it um you know so not everything has to have a thousand dollar price tag on it for your girl to enjoy you hear me listen it's called mixing and matching <laughs> but um yep like i said i'm gonna talk about that stuff a little later um i also went to coach yeah coach coach is is back coach is doing his thing i used to like growing up and stuff i used to see like my mom a lot of people we were coach and everything coach bags was a big thing back then and um my coach is coaching again <laughs> so i went into coach in the mall so a couple bags as a matter of fact no i was on their website because i'm signed up to everybody's website anyway so they had whatever um not a promotion but more so they send you their um what is it called again they send you whatever like and you open it up and you see all the stuff that they have is what i'm trying to say <laughs> yeah they ad, and i was like oh this, this look really good this looks nice and i was like all right you know as a matter of fact two years ago i was in a mall and i went into the coach store because i seen this jacket on the um on the mannequin and i was like babe i gotta have that jacket it looks so cute and the cool thing about it is at the time when i walked into the store i didn't know that it was like a versatile um jacket not it's a versatile or it's a two-in-one jacket basically you could just like literally flip it on over and wear it on the other side as well and i think that jacket is so cute so um yeah after that like i was saying i was looking on my phone and i was like oh these this is pretty cool this is pretty cool so i ended up going to coach that day just to make sure that because sometimes when it comes to purchasing bags and stuff online is one thing but you got to see it in person you want to try it on and make sure that it's going to hit you if, if it's a crossbody if it's going to hit you at your hip if it's going to hit you like you know it's not going to be up here basically and i was like let me just go try it on before i make the little investment and i did and i ended up leaving there with two coach i ended up leaving there with two coach purses 
and two coach wallets and i was like this is so cute so cute also their shoes pretty uh, pretty cool they didn't have my size but i was like i was feeling like one of their um sandals i was like damn it would have matched with the purse perfectly but anyway any old way um let me see if i could grab it then i'll show you this is it right here so pretty so pretty i love the color it's just shell spring to me so cute oh my goodness and this is what the inside look like it's just basic Let's see. right and you have the zip right there as well so so many compartments basically and you have the coach um logo on the inside as well and it just has like so many compartments and to me this is like a cool little crossbody bag in the um spring and summertime basically the colors shout spring and summer which is great it's not doing too much it's just a cute little bag basically cute little bag love it i probably definitely wrap this with like maybe like a white outfit or even like a cream outfit and yeah the great thing about it is you can rock it as a crossbody or double up the chain and just wear it on your shoulder whatever works for you which is great i also got the little wallet that i could just stick in here or i could literally um just carry this by itself totally optional it has like a little keychain as well which is great and um sometimes like with me especially I like organization so I could put my cards in here and take it and stick it right in here and if I need to grab a credit card ID card whatever just pull it out rather than searching to the you know through the bag and just take the card out here here you go and yeah I got the black one but it's a little different same thing cross body or rock it on your shoulder doing your thing you feel me <laughs> okay, let me see the only thing is with this one you can't adjust the chain you just have to keep it the way that it is and it has i already put stuff in there because i've already used it but we have like compartments for like your id cards and stuff credit cards we got the little compartment right there along with the other compartment as well plus you have like an extra compartment in the back as well ah! and yeah i think this one was one something if i'm not mistaken and i think this one might have been like maybe 180 something i can't remember i don't think this was two something but anyway nevertheless it's all leather and they're really cute i got the wallet in black as well and I'll be using this wallet. <laughs> you can see my little card and stuff right there. And it has like the keychain and everything. So, yep. Lately, I've been, because my phone has like the ring on the back. So, lately, I've been clipping this on the ring. And I've just been grabbing my phone. And this is connected. And I'm like out the door. You hear me? Not doing too much. And that's just basically it. But, um, yep. I'm about to go and probably i don't know if hubby's already doing it but i am gonna go put that pizza in the oven pop some beef patties in the oven take care of that and i know i said i was gonna edit my video tonight because i have a little portion to edit still for the cooking uh channel so i'm gonna see if i could get my hands on that really and truly your girl is contemplating because i want to go watch the extraction two all right extraction two i know it's gonna be good because extraction one i didn't even know there was gonna be a two first of all extraction one was everything all right i mean that's when a, your girl let me just put this out there disclaimer your girl loves action i love action movies if you want me to stay awake or awoke throughout the entire time of the movie it needs to be an action pack movie with a lot of physicality if you get what i'm saying a lot of just a lot a lot of <laughs> a lot of action and i will be off my, like literally off my seat yelling and screaming and just acting crazy acting a fool but um man look when i tell you extraction was so good if you haven't seen it check it out it's on netflix and let me see 
I've, I've watched that movie so many times dating back probably like what maybe a year ago I think no probably two years ago probably two years ago yep mm-hmm and it's that good that they kept it on Netflix um extraction 2 just came out yesterday on Friday so I'm definitely gonna I haven't wanted to watch it since last night, but your girl been editing all day yesterday as well. And I was so tired. I'm like, dang, I'm so tired. And I was like, I really want to turn the TV on. But two seconds later, your girl was snoring, all right? So that never happened. Um, What's another one? I seen The Mother when it first released with Jennifer Lopez. Such a good movie. I mean, such a good movie. I've watched it like three times already. That's another movie that you need to check out on Netflix. The Mother and another one aka aka is a good movie i'm not gonna bombard you with too many movies now here's the thing up until two years ago i like i've been working so hard i still work really hard but what i'm trying to say is your girl was never really a movie person like i'll be that person i go to the movies and that'd be like the place where i decide to take my nap time so to speak because your girl be tired so recently um like i said dating back about two years i ended up kind of like being on bed rest for a little short time or whatever and i was like i'm so bored i gotta be in this bed for a hot minute so i was like i need to figure this out i better start watching some type of movies or something to make this time go by faster so that's what i ended up doing i ended up watching um movies and of course i typed in you know i was looking up action pack movies it just can be any type of movie and i was like dang i've been missing out so much because i've been working so freaking hard that i haven't even had time to like really sit back and watch a good movie um and that's just what it's been ever since so yeah your girl is into action i mean oh you know i don't want to say certain things but action pack movies and um just turn that surround system on up and i'm all in it i'm in there i'm all in it I'm all in it all ears all right <laughs> and the crazy thing is i've been like that since i was a little girl i've always been into movies like action-packed movies my grandmother she's the one she was always into action-packed movies not to mention we used to watch wwf together world wrestling federation together wrestling and that used to be our thing as well so yeah i'm that kind of chick <laughs> i am definitely that girl when it comes to action um so i want to definitely check that out and um another movie that's well it's not a movie i thought it was initially but it's a series is bloodhound bloodhound is really good as well i'm not finished watching it as yet but every episode that i've seen thus far i think it's like eight episodes i'm like on episode number three so good what's the other one it's right here i just gotta pull it out let me see <laughs> raid oh my goodness raid if you don't like a lot of fighting and a lot of blood and a lot of lot of raid it may not be for you but raid raid one and two raid one and two raid what is it called raid for redemption I think one is called Raid for Redemption and the second one is Raid 2. That's what it is. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. If you're not into all that like blood splatter and fighting and physicality and violence, do not watch it. But other than that, it's action from the beginning to the end. And I tell you, I was like, oh my goodness. I, what? crazy really crazy so yeah that's what i've been watching lately um i haven't been watching like the other stuff like the housewives stuff if that even like if that even plays out still let all this noise just go by because it's hard to talk and focus with all this noise it's crazy yeah like i was saying um if the housewives stuff still come on tv i wouldn't even know because i don't watch that type of stuff reality tv and all that garbage is to me is just so fake and just annoying and just annoying and just annoying um like i said i'm into like movies that make sense like action pack it has to have like some type of substance to it and yeah the other stuff i'm not gonna even waste my i'd rather work 
than to waste my time watching half of the other stuff. But anyway, let me see, like I said, so um, I'm gonna try to see if I could go get them something to eat. And I'm gonna try to see if I could put like an edit or two in on my video. <laughs> and then I'm gonna sit down and watch me some TV. But we're not gonna disconnect yet, all right? You're still gonna hang out with me for the day. But yeah, that's the stuff that I got from Skims, TJ Maxx, Amazon, and Coach. And of course, I know I got some other stuff that I want to show you guys, but I'll show you um, in another video because it's a lot of stuff. Like I said, it's been like three, four months. So it's a lot of stuff that's just been collected throughout the entire process. Um, Yep. Stuff from Walmart, Old Navy, this place, that place, all over the place. Um, as you can see, your girl is kind of slimming down. Hey, <laughs> physique is coming back. All right. But anyway, let me take you guys off the tripod and take you in the living room with me. All right. You want to go with me? I'm going to take you in the living room with me. <laughs> Let's find out. It was really good action from beginning to end. The only crazy thing was somebody like, you know, somebody died in the movie and I was like, no. But other than that, that movie, definitely I loved it. Um, Extraction 2, of course, just in case you're like, what are you talking about? Because you did mention a lot of movies. Yeah, I'm talking about Extraction 2. Anyway, I'm about to do my nighttime routine because like I said earlier, your girl has a couple pimples going on from those stupid steroid steroids that I've been taking for asthma so anyway let's handle that anyway I'm about to put this on my face this is by Curology it's so cool because how it works is if you have acne breakouts you um just get on the phone with them and a nurse would speak to you about your well actually no I'm jumping the gun I'm trying to remember like when I signed up how it worked you pretty much sign up online and then they tell you they ask you questions about your skin and stuff and then they tell you that they're gonna have a nurse call you at a scheduled time and once that nurse calls you you speak to her and you tell her what's going on and they'll give you like the best formula for your skin which is a good thing like my formula has tretinoin 0.06 percent clindamycin which is great for acne as well one percent azalea acid six percent and it works really good for me and basically you got to apply it at night to your trouble areas but you know something i'm just gonna put it all over my face because <laughs> just in case any acne decide that they want to pop out at the last minute we're not having that because like i told you your girl was taking prednisone and that stuff causes acne all right that's one of the side effects and I'm about to put my moisturizer on by Curology as well. The good thing about the um, Curology brand is you go online and you just basically fill out a survey about your skin and then a nurse would contact you to confirm everything. She review your pictures that you sent over and they'll come up with like a specialized formula formulation that is best suited for your skin and your acne or hyperpigmentation or whatever and they send it to you mail it to you and then it's like it's the cool thing about it is like it comes to your house every month if you choose i think a monthly subscription or whatever so i've been rocking out with that and my skin has been good um, I, I also wash my face with the urban skin cleansing i think it's three in one formula let me tell you something that right there got your girl's skin feeling clean I just finished putting on my moisturizer, so that's a good thing. Cause I used to think that because I had oily skin, I did not need a moisturizer. And that was definitely not true. Even if you have oily skin, you need a moisturizer. Gotta moisturize. The more you moisturize, it's the less oil production that your skin would produce. The reason why us oily people is producing so much oil, one of the factors is when your skin is dry, it's like, you know something, your skin needs oil. Production, 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 and it overproduces. And then it's like, you look in the mirror and you're like, oh my God, I look like I've been frying chicken all day. 
face is greasy. So I notice like once I put that moisturizer on, the oil production slows down because the skin is moisturized. But anyway, I'm about to go edit my video. Now that my skincare is done, skincare is pretty much for me, pretty much simple. Um, if I didn't have an acne breakout, I might have done my gleaming, which is like that turmeric um, paste or whatever. I would have done that, plus maybe like a face mask, a little collagen face mask or whatever. But because tonight I have these little breakouts going on, I'm like, you know what? Let me just focus on these breakouts, keep it, um, keep my skin clean, keep it hydrated, drink a lot of water, and just use these products and get you know get the face clean again and once my face is clear and then i would do other things because i don't want to do too many things cause a reaction and you don't know what caused it basically so we're not gonna do that anyway guys like i said i'm about to go and um edit my video and as a matter of fact i'm about to sip on some clam chowder and corn soup because your girl is a little bit famished right <laughs>